Hi, my name's Dane and welcome to Five Bookish Facts. Let's go. It's that time again. Yay. I like doing these. You can see I'm smiling. I never smile in real life. Okay, so today we're following up on a fan request. This is actually from my mum. Hello, mum. She wanted to have five bookish facts about Agatha Christie, the queen of crime. So let's hope by the end of this video, you haven't lost your marples. Let's Poirot. <laughs> In 2009, HarperCollins published all of Agatha Christie's Marple books in a single volume. So it had 4,032 pages, it weighed 8 kilograms and cost £1,000. And it was even recognised by the Guinness World Records as the world's thickest book. So Agatha Christie is by far the highest selling novelist of all time. There are only two things she's been outsold by and that one of those is the Bible and the other one is William Shakespeare who's got like a good four or five hundred years head start on us. She's actually sold over two billion copies of her book so far which is the same as the population of China and America added together or about what third of the world's population something like that. I only own about 40 of those books but I'm doing my bit. So Agatha Christie only started writing mystery and detective novels because her sister better that she couldn't. Before then she did write some fiction but she mostly wrote poetry. When she moved on to detective novels the first book that she wrote was The Mysterious Affair at Styles, which was the book that introduced the famous detective Hercule Poirot. Poirot is obviously one of the or arguably one of the one of the most well-known detectives in literature. Christie actually created both Poirot and Miss Marple which makes to the only crime author to have kind of created two of those standout figures. Now what's interesting about Poirot is that Christie actually killed him off and kept his death secret for 30 odd years before she finally released the story in which he died. She was going to release it after her own death but basically she was asked to create a story for something and due to ill health and old age she, she wasn't able to do it. So she released this story in which Poirot died and there was, a, there was kind of a huge outpouring of grief that actually featured in the New York Times. So in response to Poirot's death the New York Times released an obituary and it's actually still the only time they've ever printed an obituary for a fictional character. Contrary to conventional wisdom, the butler never actually did it. So what we do find though is that doctors are the worst culprits for being murderers. Doctors did it four times and then they're followed by politicians, secretaries, actors, housewives, military men, teachers and police officers who all did it at least twice. So the most famous fact about Agatha Christie is that she once disappeared for 11 days and then when she was found she claimed to have no memory of it. Nobody really knows what happens there, there are kind of different theories around. Some people think she was abducted by aliens for example. Christie herself claimed that she had amnesia and couldn't remember. She was eventually found in a hotel and she was actually using an alias. And one thing that had happened recently was her first husband uh, had cheated on her and she was staying uh, using the surname of the woman that um, he'd cheated on her with so there's possibility something there. Actually quite a lot of people believe that she deliberately disappeared. She was going to either fake her own death or commit suicide and frame her husband for her own murder. So thanks as always for watching, don't forget to hit subscribe for new videos every Wednesday and feel free to leave a comment below for your requests whether you want me to do authors, books, series, anything like that I'll see what I can do and I'll see you soon, bye bye. Hey do you know what you call this? A cat among the pigeons. Uh... Oh no, the cat did it.